everybody tonight. Um, thank you all for coming. I'm really honored to be here with such an amazing group of speakers, an amazing group of musicians. Uh, Kat by as Sam said, Corinna Gore, who's come here um, to help us rally the troops for this struggle. Um, I do have some remarks I want to uh, share with you. Uh, but Sam mentioned I do research, and that's true, I do do research. So this afternoon, I did some research on this thing called Google. <laughs> and guess what Google told me today? Google told me that in West Virginia, 23 hours ago, a pipeline exploded. No. Google told me that this pipeline was owned by Dominion oh. Energy. Oh. And I want to go back to something that LMA spoke about and some of the others from Buckingham County. Um, the pipeline that exploded in West Virginia in a place called Harrison County um, was six inches wide. Oh. It was low pressure. Dominion says it was a lightning strike, nothing to worry about, nothing to see here, nobody was hurt. I'm wondering how a lightning strike can explode a gas pipeline that's underground. But that's a separate question. That's a separate question. The real question is, if you live in Union Hill in Buckingham County and 150 feet from this compressor station, that pipeline is 42 right inches right wide. And it is not, and this is what it looks like, and it is not low pressure. Latchme will correct me if I'm wrong. It is 14,000 pounds per square inch. Is that right? Highest PSI allowed. Highest PSI allowed that's ever, they have not had a, a pipeline so pressurized. So this is real, folks. We're in Northern Virginia here. Maybe we don't feel it affects us. But if you're LMA and you live 150 feet from this, you're living on a bomb. You're living on a bomb. Now, one other fact, because Google didn't tell me this which particular pipeline this is, but Dominion Energy has sued a company called Precision Pipeline for its sheer incompetence in building something called the Appalachian um, Pipeline in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. And Dominion sued Precision Pipeline because in that pipeline, which was 50 mile, 55 miles long, uh, there were 50 landslides. <laughs> now, does anybody know anything about Precision Pipeline? Let me see a show of hands. Few people do. Okay. Precision Pipeline is based in Wisconsin. And all those great union jobs that you're hearing about, which is a complete crock of baloney, um, is going to this Wisconsin company shipping workers from out of state. We know this because we have photographs of the license plates. Precision Pipeline, which built that pipeline for Dominion, which, ex which, which caused 50 landslides. Precision Pipeline is the company hired by the Mountain Valley Pipeline to build a 300 mile long pipeline in Virginia. This is what your Department of Environmental Quality approved. This is what they approved. We're here tonight to send a loud and clear and a very simple message to our elected leaders and we will make them listen. And that message is this. The Atlantic Coast and the Mountain Valley Pipelines can be stopped, they should be stopped, and they will be stopped. <laughs> Southwest Virginia has been fighting this struggle for four years. Union Hill has become the focus of attention, as it should be, because Dominion Energy would literally destroy destroy an historic African-American community with its compressor station there. We've been told that these pipelines, and we've been told this for years, that they are inevitable. But as my friend Mara Robbins likes to say, the only thing that is inevitable is climate change, mm -hmm. if we fail to do something mm -hmm. about it. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. famously said that people will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Here in Virginia, we are defending our water with a mighty stream of activists. And we are blessed tonight to be hearing from some of these frontline activists who took to trees, who took to equipment to stop these pipelines. They're fighting for not just for themselves, they are fighting for all of us. People are going to meetings such as this across the state. People are marching, people are singing, people are stand standing up, they're sitting in trees, they're chaining themselves to equipment, they're going to send a message, they are sending a message, that we will not stay quiet while our planet fries. Mm -hmm. We have 
but dozens of elected officials, not enough, but dozens of elected officials have spoken out. And we have Mark Keene here today and Sam Rasool who have been leaders and real champions in this fight. And we're so glad to have them on our side fighting for us. And fighting for us, I must say, at considerable political risk given the politics in Virginia. They are unafraid of that. And we thank them. The Virginia State Chapter of the NAACP has spoken out as demanded that these pipelines be stopped. Yes. On August 16th, the governor's own advisory council, think about that, the governor's <laughs> own 15-member advisory council that he appointed, the Council on Environmental Justice, called for a complete halt to all construction and a thorough investigation into what is going on. There was a Washington Post article, front page, talking about the, what the Environmental Justice uh, uh, Council said. Dominion Energy said, we reject everything the Council said. So the simple question I have, and I think all of you should have for Ralph Northam, is which side are you on? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. yeah. Which side are you on? Do you support Dominion Energy, or do you support your own advisors who you appointed mm -hmm. to tell you about environmental justice mm -hmm. in Virginia? On the legal front, we have made some substantial progress. The Mountain Valley Pipeline, and this is important because people are talking about how inevitable this is. The Mountain Valley Pipeline no longer has a permit to go through the Jefferson National Forest. And if you know how to draw a line, and there's a space in the line, you know what I'm about to say is absolutely true. Without that permit, there is no pipeline. The Atlantic Coast Pipeline no longer has valid permits from the National Park Service or from the Fish and Wildlife Service. And without those permits, permits there is no pipeline. You heard mention about a hearing on Tuesday in Buckingham County. Dominion doesn't have a permit yet for this compressor station, and they shouldn't get it. And with all our work, hopefully they will not get it. And without that permit, there is no compressor station. And without a compressor station, there is no pipeline. That's right. In Augusta County, just yesterday, the Augusta County Zoning Board tabled Dominion's request to destroy 55 acres for a pipeline storage yard. Pipeline storage yard is used to store pipe. And guess what? Without a pipeline storage yard, you have no, no pipeline. pipeline. And I believe, if I'm not wrong, that this is the second time they've brought this up. Yeah. Augusta County yeah. considered this, this storage yard a few months ago and voted no on it. So it's going nowhere, folks. The people of Southwest Virginia need you to speak out. They need you to speak out however you can and wherever you can. Come to the compressor station hearing on Tuesday in Buckingham County, if at all possible. If you can't do that, file a comment with the Department of Environmental Quality. I believe the deadline is also Tuesday, September 11th. Post information online. Educate your friends. We will wage this battle until we have won this battle. <laughs> and the reason we'll do that is very simple. If I can borrow a phrase, the inconvenient truth <laughs> is this. We have no choice. We all breathe air. We all drink water. We are all Union Hill. And here's another inconvenient truth, and then I'll wrap it up. The governor of this commonwealth is a Democrat who should know better. He has been stone cold silent. I follow this very closely. He has not uttered a single word, not a single word about Union Hill. He has not said very much at all about the daily reports of environmental damage from early construction activities. You saw some of the photograph. As I wrote earlier this week in an article in Medium, Ralph Northam has stayed silent, even though he has found the time and the inclination to speak out on a whole bunch of subjects. He talked about how the view from Mount Vernon would be obstructed by a compressor station that Dominion was going to build in an African-American community in Maryland. He says he was concerned about the view from George Washington's plantation. But you know what the worst part of that story is? One week later, Dominion canceled its plans. Ralph Northam made this statement, I believe, on WTOP on a radio call-in show, response to a question, 
one week later they canceled his plans. LMA and the folks in Buckingham County have been fighting for four years, and this man has not said a word, not a word, despite the fact, let's be honest, that he was, a, he was elected on the backs of, the, of a huge and overwhelming support from the African American community in this commonwealth. Dr. Northam has found time to talk, to speak out on another subject too. On August 16th, the same day that his Council on Environmental Justice came out and said we need to end these pipelines, Governor Northam welcomed the creation of an oyster council. <laughs> of an oyster council to talk about the threat to oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. So I understand he's a busy man. I understand that oysters are important. I like oysters. I've been to Mount Vernon. It's a you know, beautiful place. But people's lives are on the line. People's water is on the line. People's land is on the line. People's heritage is on the line. And he is the governor of this state. So he's been silent. But I think we need to do something right here, right now, to end Ralph Northam's silence. And we need to do it by making a whole lot of noise. Yeah. So join with me, please, and raise your voices and let Ralph Northam know. What do we want? No, no pipeline. Pipelines. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? No pipeline. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? No pipeline. When do we want it? Now. Thank you very much. Yeah.